very windy day in Whitby. We've driven up, it's about two and a half, three hours from Manchester. And it's a seaside town in North Yorkshire. Whitby really is a beautiful coastal town, one of my absolute favourites. It's famous for its connections to Bram Stoker's Dracula, its quirky, quaint, cobbled streets, and its cute 18th century fishermen's cottages. Today, I want to show you my top 10 best things to see, starting with a coffee, a sweet treat, and a walk up to the 199 steps. So, we're just climbing up the 199 steps, which leads up to Whitby Abbey, and also St. Mary's Church. There's a halfway point if you're struggling. So this, behind me, is St. Mary's Church. St. Mary's Church dates back to the 12th century, and the graveyard at the top actually inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula. So when you've climbed up the 199 steps, you'll get to St. Mary's Church and Whitby Abbey. Whitby Abbey dates back to the 12th century, and it was destroyed by Henry VIII in the 1500s, and then it was rebuilt. So this is the next thing, if you come to Whitby, you've got to see. On your walk back into town, you'll find a beautiful view of the higgledy-piggledy 18th century fishermen's cottages. The terracotta roofs are such a signature of this area. We're now walking, trying to find somewhere for breakfast. It's very quiet because it's a Sunday morning. Other than the seagulls and the pigeons. We ordered the traditional kippa pate for breakfast. Um, it's been cooked or it's been made to the same recipe since 1872. So I can highly recommend it. If you're in Whitby, definitely try the kippa pate. You can't come to the British seaside and not have a cup of strong Yorkshire tea at breakfast. We ordered kippa pate, cinnamon toast, and a full English breakfast. So the next place on your list when you come to Whitby is Fortune's Kipper Shop. This is the Kipper Shop. Fortune's Kipper Shop is actually one of the most famous attractions in Whitby. You can actually visit the smokehouse where the kippers are cured and get their famous wood smoked flavour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, we've got our kippers. Fortune's kippers. It's so interesting. You can see exactly where they smoke the kippers. And they've been doing it the same, the, the same recipe, the same way, since 1872. So, down one of Whitby's side streets, you'll find this place, the Captain Cook Memorial Museum. This is where he was an apprentice in the 17th and 18th century. Um, we can't go in today because obviously of COVID um, and you've got to pre-book and we've not pre-booked, but if you are here and you're back in normal times, I'd say it's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Next on your list has to be the house where Bram Stoker stayed in the 1800s and also the Captain Cook statue as well as the famous whale bones overlooking the ocean. Take a moment to just get away from the crowds, sit by the shore and watch the fishermen bring in their daily catch. Next on your list is Clara's Ice Cream Parlour, which is <laughs> super famous in Whitby. There's outdoor seating in the summer, so you can enjoy your ice cream, as well as panoramic views across the coastline, but we got ours to go. A little point when you're in Whitby, we just had our ice cream stolen by a seagull. <laughs> so, up this lighthouse, you can usually climb up to the top, it's about 80 steps, and then you've got a gorgeous view of the whole of Whitby. A super short 10 minute drive out of town, and you'll find this dreamy stretch of coastline. So, 
Hello, I don't know if you can hear me, it's very, very windy. We're now heading to a place called Holbrook Bay, where they're supposed to have fossils, and if you find a fossil, you can keep it. So that's the next thing that you have to see when you come to Whitby. She stands on the sideline, dance slow and looks at me. She must be a sunlight. Found one. So this, well, it's not a very complete one, but look at that. I'd say that was a fossil. Let's see if we can find some more. Ooh. Be careful, it's quite um, rocky, and the rocks are quite rocky. <laughs> time on this stunning beach, build a castle out of stones, read a book or just enjoy the views across the sea and watch the waves as they come crashing in against the shore. Just found this as well on the beach. Now we're not sure but we think this might be that Whitby jet. I mean, we're not sure. Could be them. <laughs> and then it's time for dinner at a restaurant on the marina called Trenches. So I got the scampi. supposed to be the best fish and chips in the UK. Fish is super flaky and fresh. Look at that. So, that was Trenches Fish and Chips. Just finishing our trip in Whitby by Sitting here by the water, I would 100% recommend trenches if you are in Whitby. There was a huge queue for the magpie, and trenches. There were signs everywhere saying that it was voted the best fish and chip shop in the UK, 2020. So, 100% recommend it. Hope that this little guide to Whitby has been helpful to some of you. If you're thinking of visiting in the future, just wanted to show you what you can do in 24 hours in this gorgeous seaside town. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe if you liked it. Like the video if you liked it. And I will see you in my next one.